Have you played Life is Strange Season 1? Yes, I have. Did you choose to save Arcadia Bay? No, I did not. Okay. I wondered how that was going to play into things. Okay, cool. We're going to pause here for the moment. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Let's Play Life is Strange Wavelengths. This is the DLC for stuff that explains how she got from Arcadia Bay to Haven Springs and every stuff that happened to her before Alex arrived. Now, Steph is not a part of the original Life is Strange video game. She is in the Before the Storm prequel that came out after the original video game. Uh, Before the Storm is not on this channel, and it will never be on this channel. Um, I haven't played Before the Storm, but I did watch Eurogamer play it, and I feel like I got enough sense for the game to say that I just don't really like it. Um, the short version for that is I don't like the direction that they went in for the story, to tell the story, and I don't think the direction they went in was written well. So it's it's a twofold that is that is the short of it. I just I just don't like the story they chose to tell and I don't think the story they told was written well. <laughs> um I will give you a longer explanation because I've had a number of you tell me how much you enjoyed Before the Storm, how much you really want me to play Before the Storm, and I feel like you deserve that longer answer. However, if you don't want the longer answer and you just want to skip ahead uh, to get into wavelengths, I will have a chapter break in the video and you can, you can just skip ahead and skip all of that to give you more of a detailed answer. When I played the original Life is Strange game, I got the sense that the relationship between Chloe and Rachel was not romantic. Clearly, Chloe was absolutely in love with Rachel, but I did not get the sense in there anywhere that Rachel was in love with Chloe. I think it's clear that they had a very close relationship and a very platonically loving relationship on Rachel's side, but I did not get that the two of them were ever romantically involved. Chloe wanted that, but I did not get the sense that it ever happened. And Ashley Birch, who does Chloe's voice, said that that is actually how she portrayed, how she viewed that relationship when she was voicing Chloe in the original game. So that has always been my view. The prequel has Rachel and Chloe in a loving relationship. And while that gives you the warm and fuzzies, and I like that idea, it really to me, does not make sense in the context of the original game. Because again, like even going back and playing that game and knowing that in canon, because the prequel is canon, even though it was developed by a completely different team who tried to stay as loyal to the source material as possible, I still feel like it doesn't, it just doesn't fit in the context of the original game. Because Rachel ends up with Frank, so it doesn't make sense for her to be in this com seemingly committed, loving relationship with Chloe when she's just going to leave. The, the, whole, the whole thing just kind of falls flat to me. Um, there's no explanation in the prequel or any kind of hint as to how this relationship would break down and why Rachel would leave. I just don't, I just don't get it. And then there's some people that are like, well, if you view the game in a certain way, Rachel is actually a manipulative asshole and she needs everyone to love her and her love in any kind of loving relationship, whether it be Chloe or Frank is just, she just wants the attention and then she gets bored and moves on to the next person. I'm like, okay, well, if you view it that way, 
uh, that makes it worse. Like, <laughs> I don't see how that's better. Um, so, Chloe and Rachel being in a relationship, it's cute. It gives you the warm and fuzzies in the moment, but in context of the original game, I, it doesn't make sense. And I really think if Don't Nod had made the prequel, we would have gotten a completely different story. Um, I do think the game has a lot of merit in the scenes that we have of Chloe trying to process her grief with her dad, these sort of alone moments that she has trying to make sense of anything. And I think the, the end chapter, the bonus chapter that you get with Chloe and Max of like, of her dad's, like before her dad's funeral and Steph. Those, those are the moments that are gold and that are worth preserving and holding on to. And the rest of it, I just kind of wish would just go away. <laughs> Um, I think the plot is insane. The whole plot with, like, Rachel's parents is crazy. Um, the ending makes no sense whatsoever. It's, it's a complete mess. I literally thought the ending went one way and then someone else had to explain it to me and be like, no, it's actually, this is what happened. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, it's, it's just a complete mess. I do think that Rachel is better left to the imagination as she is in the first game as this entity that you just don't know and Max can't know and understand and you as the player kind of have to make up your mind about her. I think that's better than having a prequel that shows her to you. I think certain characters weren't portrayed quite as accurately as they could have been. So I do not like Before the Storm and I am not going to play Before the Storm. It's not going to happen. So um, I'm sorry. I'm sure I've disappointed a bunch of you. Um, but that's just how it is. I don't know how much of Before the Storm is going to actually play into this. Maybe not a whole lot. It just asked me about Life is Strange season one. So I think we're good. I think it's fine. But yeah. Yeah. i um, I'm sorry. Those are my my feelings and my thoughts on on before the storm. We're gonna we're gonna jump in. We're gonna jump in and hang out with Steph. <laughs> Click. Not on air. I was expecting the on air to click. Look at all the soundproofing foam. Steph, uh, Gingrich, is that how you say it? Yeah. That's right. What kinds of radio have you done before? God, let's see. What haven't I done? College radio, small town station, did a couple podcasts. Lots of live mixing for my band. Oh, okay. So you know your way around an audio booth. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> Your friend did tell me you were overqualified for this job. I just assumed he was, you know, being Gabe. <laughs> right. <sighs> well, look, if you can handle it without much supervision, the job's yours. Awesome. Now, part of your responsibilities would be managing the record store. Given all your retail experience on your resume, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Oh, right. Yeah, no problem at all. Great. So your friend said you quit your band to be here. Can I ask why? Sorry. Maybe that's too personal. No, it's fine. Um, no big reason. I'm just trying to... Step back a little, get over a breakup, do something cool. Um, I f okay, I don't want to say get over a breakup, because that's not something you want to say in an interview. Do something cool implies the band wasn't cool, so... You know, take some time to breathe. This seems like a place I can just enjoy being on my own. Well, I hope we live up to expectations. Haven Springs is no Seattle. <laughs> I think I'll love it. Ooh. 
Okay, the manager left me a task list for my first day. So that's probably around here Why? somewhere. Why is this movement weird? I don't like that. Okay. Oh, task list. Why is it? Why is the movement janky? That's a little bit better only because it moves faster. Anyway. Great. Here's the list. Stuff. Welcome to your first shift. Sorry I can't be there. Here are the basics. Introduce yourself. Use the computer to play the auto DJ. Read all ads on air. Add copies on the desk. It's very unlikely what some folks might call in. This probably goes without saying, but if someone calls, answer. Good luck, Patrice. Introduce myself on air? Huh. Let's give this a shot. What are you supposed to be? It's a bobblehead. Are you the Haven High mascot? One of these buttons is the mic switch. Okay. I'm not going to press it just yet. We're not on air yet. Need to turn this on first. Mm hmm. Pretty sure the only other time I've used a landline was to call my cell phone. Bet I could get these to stick to the bulletin board from here. The dinos? <laughs> oh, I didn't even think about how weird a landline is. Okay. Do we have? Yes, we do. No diary, though. Just text Mikey. I think, is Mikey from, I think Mikey might be from Before the Storm. Really hope this is the right number. If the person reading this is Steph, hey, it's Mikey. Been a minute. Holy shit. Hey, damn, dude, it's been ages. How'd you find me? I had a different number last time we talked. LOL, you're in the alumni directory. Seriously? I know, I thought it was weird too. Man, you donate five bucks one time. Anyway, damn, dude, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. You know how it is. Yeah. Actually, no, I have no idea how it is. Hello. Well, I guess you don't. I'm just kicking around. Got into grad school, so that's dope. How about you? One, that is dope. Congrats on grad school. Two, LOL. No idea. I split. Oh, for real. Where are you now? Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that like a suburb of Denver? Ha, huh, I see. That would have been a smart place to move to. No, it's way out of BFE. Don't know what that means. Long story. Well, if you ever want to tell it, I'm all ears. No idea what BFE is. Someone explain text speech to me. <laughs> Jerry. Hey, we doing a show a snot Haas on the 25th? It's not. I think Haas is also an abbreviation. Tiggins, Riz, Attack of Lanterns, and y'all, if you want in. Bring your own booze, obviously? Huh? Shit, you haven't heard. I kind of moved out of Seattle. Oh shit, when? Like a week ago? Damn, is Izzy with you? Nope, sorry dude, I don't think DSM is a thing anymore. DSM is drugstore makeup. DSM is also an abbreviation for your <laughs> for something else. Damn, F's in chat. Izzy, oh boy. Hey, home safe. I think it would be best if I blocked your number. It's not personal. I just feel like the temptation to text you would be too much. And I want to let you go on with whatever it is you're doing out there. So, bye. Oh, man. Oof. Gabe. Well, we're not getting any Izzy in this. Yo, hey, it's Steph from Drugstore Makeup. What up, bud? So, okay, talk to Izzy, and we're in for the gig. It'll be good to have a stop between SLC and Denver. Sick. Can't wait for you guys to play up here. You're going to love it. Hell yeah. Think you could put me up for a few days? Uh, don't you have more tour dates? Shit, did something happen? No, not really. I just, I was just thinking maybe I'd stick around Haven for a little longer than we originally planned, but not both of you. Look, man, can I crash with you or not? Hold on. When's the... Can't wait for you guys to play... And then a few months later, can you put me up for a few days? So this must have been after the show. Look, man, can I crash with you or not? Yeah, yeah, of course. If you need to talk, hit me up. I think I can get you a job in town if you're interested. That's 11 days later. 10 days later. So you can stop couch surfing and get your own place. Dude, maybe we ought to talk about that. Crack open some beers. I'll be there in 10. You know, if it were me, I don't think I bet my future on the outcome of a game I sucked that much at. Bro, I'm trying to sleep. Whatever, you'll sleep when you're dead. About that record store job, though. Fine, I'll go in for the interview. 
Thanks, Gabe. You're the coolest friend a girl could have. Thanks, Gabe. Now let me sleep. <laughs> Break a leg, kid. Thanks, man. Seriously. Don't even mention it. Group chat with Gabe, Ryan, and Charlotte. System notification. You've been added to this conversation by Gabe Chen. Submitted for the approval of Haven Spring Cool Kids Club, our newest member, Steph Gringrich. Welcome aboard. It's about time this group chat became less of a boys club. Yo, thanks for having me. So, movie night? I'm always down for movie night. Dude, so why didn't Alex get added to the Cool Kids Club group chat? Or was that Gabe's thing and once he died, it wasn't a thing anymore? Dude, you're always down for nature documentary night soon as I want to put on Jurassic Park, you dip. They don't have feathers. Where are their feathers, Gabe? Oh god, not this again. I'm down for movie night. When are we doing this? My place Friday, and I believe it's only fair we let our newest member pick the movie. What? I didn't agree to that. Too bad, my dude. The deed is done. I'm gonna get real weird with it. Okay, like how weird? Real weird. <laughs> okay. All right. So we want to turn on the microphone and introduce ourselves. Stop trying no. to intimidate me with all these buttons and dials. I'm on to you. Ooh, Spring's, Spring Fest performance schedule over there. What's up, Kind Haven listeners? Steph here. Oh, oh, the new D, uh, the music maestro. KRCT's new maestro of music, Sultan of Songs, Tyrant of Tunes. You get the picture. We've got some great music coming up for you, so uh, keep it here. You're listening to KRCT. Well, I promised great music, so next up, check out the playlist. Oh, I can fling the dinosaurs? I hope I'm not timed. Hold on, wait. I had a freaking... Oh, uh, went away. Turn on the computer. Something tells me you and I are going to be seeing a lot of each other. Something tells oh. me... You and I are going to be seeing a lot. This is Haven's number one indie rock playlist. Pretty sparse. Well, Steph's gonna fix that. It'll do, I guess. Hello. Sorry, computer DJ. <laughs> it's my turn now. Play Paint Me Silver. Play Fall Asleep. Play Home Four Oaks. Play Talking Distance. This one. Don't ask me why. It grabbed my attention. Shaking things up already, Gingrich. Maybe I can play a few more songs today. Can I please? I'm supposed to read some ad Fling dinos at the bulletin board? Be around here too? Ugh. It was there for like a second. Read some ad copy. Great song. That new DJ really has the stuff. Oh, here's ads. Okay, they want me to riff on these bullet points. So I should probably study them a little first. Oh, okay. Talk up the Black Lantern, including an authentic atmosphere, good food. Thanks, Jed. Okay. Authentic atmosphere, good food, Black Lantern. Put to work Colorado.com. Putting Coloradian, Coloradians to work since 2002. Key points. Smooth, intuitive job portal. Okay. Website's easy to use. Licensed career experts match candidates with positions. So, position matching. Used by leading companies in technology and entertainment. Okay. Free trial with promo code. Okay, so they got a promo code. Leading companies, technology and entertainment. Please don't call us that. Our last name is Anderson. Avalanche Ice Cream. Oh, new to downtown Haven Springs. Avalanche Ice Cream was founded by husband and wife team Sony and Angela Avalanche. Our last name is Anderson. What? Over 50 flavors include classics like chocolate, vanilla, etc., and new flavor experiments like candy corn, sweet molasses, and crab ragoon, and it says no. No crab ragoon. Please don't call us that our last name is Anderson. 
Okay. Well, I'm not sure what they're saying. Please don't call us. I get your last name is Anderson. Okay. So last name is Anderson, not Avalanche. All right. Black Lantern, authentic food, good atmosphere. Easy to use website. Career position matching. Leading companies and promo code. Okay. I was born to hog this mic. This is Haven's okay. number one indie rock. How do I do the ads? Pretty sparse. Because I gotta turn the microphone on, right? To use the ads. Or do I have to turn this off? This sounds like country more than rock. All right. I know I need to do ads. Read all ads on air. Ad copies on the desk. Okay. They want me to riff on these bullet points. So I should probably study them a little first. I studied them. What do I do? <laughs> Sticky dinos. Why can't I throw them? It. I had the option. Please come back. I had to turn the microphone on here, and I can't do it now. This it yeesh. Oh, it looks like I got here just in time. To whom it may concern, I appreciate that Haven Springs has at its disposal a resource as special as KRCT. Not every town can boast its own independent radio station. However, your programming leaves a lot to be desired. On Saturday, during what was supposed to be your classic rock block, you played Loathsome Ranch three times in a row? Loathsome Ranch is not a classic rock song. It's a 60-year-old country western singer. Is that what's playing right now? Three times in a row? Did this DJ fall asleep? Please consider bringing in some new blood. Anyone who can name a release from the last 30 years or so will do. I may have no clue what I'm doing, but the good news is, maybe no one is listening anyway. Less than 20? Or is that millions? Or no, can we have a small... <laughs> maybe that's listeners? I can't tell what the type is. It's too... Less than 20 people? I'll just restart. Okay. I'll just restart. The manager left me a task list. KRCT's new maestro of music, Sultan of Songs, Tyrant of Tunes. You get the picture. We've got some oh. great music coming up for you. So uh, keep it here. You're listening to KRCT. Oh, that's what I needed to do. Okay. All right. We figured it out. Let's do the Black Lantern. Authentic atmosphere, good food. And now, a message from one of KRCT's sponsors, the Black Lantern. Here in Haven, the Black Lantern is known for... Beard proprietor, historical decor. The historical decor. Where else can you feast under a used pickaxe and a literal bullet hole? That's right. Nowhere. <laughs> and then there's the food. Try the lanterns. Jalapeno challenge? Burgers. They're known for Hot burgers. Notch burger game. Best burgers for 20 miles in any direction. Bar none. <laughs> Stop by the Black Lantern today and tell them Steph sent you. Ooh, I need a break. I'll just step away from the desk for a sec. Uh, okay. So let's. Oh, leave the booth. Literally the booth. I've been meaning to fill out my dating app profile. Steph Gingrich, this is your life. She, her, Haven Springs, Colorado 24. What would you like to add as your tagline? Uh, something informative, a lyric, a lyric. Baby, I'm a bad luck charm. What do your potential matches need to know about you? Musician, gamer, cat lover, impulsive traveler, gay disaster, aspiring DJ. I'm tempted to go with gay disaster, but you know what? Next, gotta out myself as a media snob. It's only fair. What kind of stuff do I want to name drop? What do you want to name drop? Games? Music. And top it off with a dash of what I'm looking for. Something serious, community, probably fun. 
Lover of drums, games, and cats. Take me to a punk rock show or make me a mixtape of your favorite indie bands. Just want to find a girl I can goof off with. Cool. Is that it? What's this? Oh, Grace41. Mother of two, exploring a different side of myself. I... Does Steph go for older people? I'm just going to say no, just because... The age gap. Oh! Bubbles! <laughs> 24. User hasn't entered a tagline yet. How mysterious. Hmm. No tagline? Nothing about you? Caitlin, 22. You miss every shot you don't take. Loves cats and music? She might be cute. I want- I wish I could see them all. I don't think you can go back. Greta. Keep Colorado goth. She likes cats and music. Ah, Kylie. Are you the one we're looking for? You look kind of stuffish, or are you two alike? Are you two alike? Winnie, want to get high and watch anime? You're kidding. There's no one else in your area. Try again later. Maybe I should have swiped all of them? Now, now I feel like I made horrible choices. There's probably work for me to do in the store as well. For me on the front counter. Horror novel. The scariest thing about this book is the menacing overdue notice I get once a year. <laughs> Daughter of a looking glass. Eleanor knows I kill plants. She willingly sent these to their death. I've had maybe three conversations with Eleanor, and she's already giving me flowers. I can see why Gabe loves her. Best of luck in this new adventure. We're also glad you decided to stick around. Hugs, Eleanor. That's probably gonna be my dinner. Chocolates? Gabe, your girlfriend is too good for you, man. Have fun at the new gig. Don't worry, these chocolates are safe for work. Best <laughs> sure. Music theory books. Analysis of the sonata form and its relation to musical structure and choice? <laughs> Whoa. Who's the heavyweight thumbing through these bad boys? Oh, oh man, I'm gonna puke. The hell peed on our rug. Cat? But it seems One day, if you're the country song's back on, true, you can be a real guitar. The, the country day. song's back on. I must change it. <laughs> change it. We gotta fix this. This needs fixed. Fix it. This is not rock. <laughs> I don't have- I don't personally have a problem with this song, but this does not sound like the type of music that should be on the air. a different country song than the last one. Dog Trio. Next up, put your paws together for Nat King Collie. We really need to get some customers in here. <laughs> yeah, this place definitely needs an update. Urban? Instructional. French cuisine and you learn to shred on the guitar in 60 days. Mastering your email? Chapter 1. Turning your computer on. <laughs> yeah, this needs an update. I need to know who's mass producing these mountain paintings for every store in Haven. 
package. We're gonna skip the note. No contact for two years. Then this mysterious package. <laughs> well played, Mikey. bring that with you? I guess she wasn't planning on staying. Oh, this is all from Arcadia Bay. Mikey really went for the nostalgia. I guess I should look through everything. My old notebook. Dad must have dug it up in my room and given it to Mikey. Oh, she's got different campaigns. Let's try Rubies and Fire. Connect with Mikey. It's been ages. But am I ready to GM a home campaign again? Fuck yeah. I am. <laughs> I'm like, well, you just started a new dress. She's like, no, I am definitely in. Oh my god. This takes me back. Reading further will result in character death by sudden unexplained orchid failure. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god, it's wonderful. Elm and Cloudbreaker, sex male, class wizard, level 14. Elamon, wizard of the third circle, an honorable advisor to King Tiberius, has felt the call of magic since childhood. Born to peasant folk in the village of Autumn Graves, Elamon hid his abilities for many years in fear of being outcast by the village eldership. As a young man, Elamon grew in boldness, finally leaving Autumn Graves to seek instruction at the legendary Hall of Circles. Now he travels the world in search of knowledge, good company, and a smattering of gold. Abilities, communication, move object, astral protection, ghostly rush, eagles acid blast, sails. If you need me, oh God. Me, Cataclysmic cone of fire, geek and noise, fire strike of flame. This is country again. This is country again. Beneath the froth and foam. I gotta fix it. I gotta fix it. <laughs> okay, feeling a little bit better. <laughs> I'm like, I can just keep reading. No, 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 I can't. <laughs> the froth and foam. The villagers of Crendel's Keep know two things better than anyone else on the widowed sea. How to catch a stubborn herring with a hook and line and the taste of a stubborn herring over fire. Life was simple there and a little slow and hardly dangerous until the children started to disappear. It started with the brewmaster's son, then the smith's daughter, then the hunter's nephew, then more after. Calls went out to the monster hunter guilds, but not too many folk made it all the way down to Crendel's Keep. The good-hearted Crendel man won Captain Dennis Salt sailed to the port of Rye himself and put forth a plea to the guildmaster. It was then at last the call was heard. But would it be enough? The eternal prisoner. All this is crossed out. No one can say who built the cell in Ash Sooth Forest or how long it stood or what manner of spell, magic, and stones. Only that a man lives in the cell alone and imprisoned for well over 600 years. He doesn't remember his name, but too similar to the campaign in Black Hollow. Perfect city. No city in Kirai compared to the bustling streets and dazzling spires of New Eden. It was not just the wealth, the artistry, or the safety found inside New Eden's walls. No, it was the total absence of everyday evil, disease, hunger, theft. The citizens of New Eden raised perfect families and lived perfect lives. Neighboring kingdoms were desperate to forge alliances, but New Eden stood alone in all its great perfection. But perfection comes at a cost. Sticking with the classics, Treasure Volcano it is. Oh, so did we pick a campaign for her to run? Is that what we were choosing? Okay. 
Mikey still got it. Elamon, though, has seen better days. Oh. Oh, okay. So I was supposed to pick a campaign, I guess. Sticking with the classics. Oh, Rubies and Fire. It is. I picked Rubies and Fire because it sounded interesting. The locals call it Daughter Flame, but the mountain had older names. Furnace Peak, Crimson Rock, and if you ask the right wrinkled bookkeeper, Cartus Elder Throne stretched past the clouds and filled the sky with an endless veil of soot. It also brought many travelers to its base, seeking the legendary treasure within. The Goat King Ozis built the vault in forgotten days and left his two undying sons to guard it. No one could remove a single coin, jewel, or crown from the horde. No one that lived, at least. See, that that sounds pretty epic. I think I, if I had read these first, I would have picked Beneath the Froth and Foam. That sounds super interesting to me. <laughs> I guess the character would have been different. Two? Can I please look at this? Okay. I gifted this to Mikey before I left for Seattle. Wonder if I'd even understand half of it now. Kingdoms and Caverns. That was a different... It was, it was a different game, right? That she suggested to, uh... Um... Frick. Alex. When's the last time someone even used this? Well, someone will use it because you put a big old comfy chair there. The country's back on! The country's back on! Treat yourself this Valentine's Day. Call Fred Snow Removal. What the hell? Not if Steph Gingrich has anything to say about it! Okay... We read the bulletin board. I missed this. I mean, who am I kidding? I totally would have gone to this tour. <laughs> Uh, we, I know I need to read her note, but I'm gonna look at what's over here. Sheet music too? This store can't make up its mind. Yeah, this is what I walked into and I was like, wait, this is... Not the owner's favorite musical, I take it. Oh, wow. Backstreet Bingo, zero dollars. We'll be doing the store owner a favor. Hold list. Oof. No one. We need to get this sucker filled up. Steph's gonna change the story around. I had this melody in my head all night. Finally got out of bed and recorded it. I wonder how it sounds now. I could give it a listen, see if I still like it. Not the owner's okay. favorite music. Then what's different from Look? Here, spell books for bards. Oh, nice! Spell books for bards. All right, let's see what this is. This is an original Steph melody? pretty sick. I guess upgrading from humming to actual music is a good next step. Okay, so what instrument should I play this thing on? Synth, not a guitar. Oh no, a guitar would have... Eh. I bet it'll sound cool as a synth loop. Mostly, I'm totally at peace with my decision to quit the band and stay here. Mostly. Local punk favorite drugstore makeup returns. It's the hard thing about being a two-piece, explained front woman Izzy Insurrection. If you lose one person, that's half the band. Denison's of Seattle punk venues may wonder what happened to the aggressive sets and black lipstick of drugstore makeup after months of silence. Following an unexpected lineup change, Izzy needed to pull together fresh talent. Our new drummer's a pop rock, rock, punk rock grenade. It's the kick-ass energy we need right now. Aww. She kept going with the band. From Steph to George. Hello there. Dad, I don't know what could be more grounded than undead nuns. They're literally buried underground. Did you try Shadows and Whiskey yet? It's got all the crime noir you love without the misogyny, lol. 
P.S. Did you try making the trailer more like a trailer? No dead elk yet, but there's always tomorrow. From George to Steph. Stephanie. Hey there, sweets. How is it out there in big Colorado? Hunted any wild elk yet? I've been buried by deadlines lately. Clients submitted feedback from feedback at the last minute asking for their trailer to feel, and I quote, more like a trailer. Got it, boss. Tried watching that show you recommended, but couldn't get past the undead nuns. You have anything a little more grounded for me? Love, George. I thought I was supposed to synth this. One day, bad clip art is gonna make a comeback. I can't get rid of the country, comes, can I? I'll be ready. This is not indie rock! If I emptied all these out, I could make a wicked fucking fort. But I'm not doing that right now. Yikes. Oof. Thought we were synthing this. But we're not. Yeah, I thought we were gonna go over to her laptop and like make this work. Mostly, but I'm totally at peace with my decision to quit the band and stay here. Doesn't look like it. Mostly. All right, let's read this note. Feel like I'd get along with this woman. Welcome to my store. Lord knows we need a fresh face. My name is Cassia Sobeski. I'm an old bat in a nursing home in Colorado Springs. The record trader is very near to my heart. Anything you can do to improve the place, and I mean anything, is greatly appreciated. Kind regards. Some ideas. Better decor. Better music. Fix the vent cover in the back. It's been falling off for years. So, if I read that right, Kasha's basic Kasha's, giving thank you. art blanche. I can work with that. Yeah, you've already got stuff you want to change. Check out those posters. Maybe there's something to spruce up the walls. All right, posters. As for music. I can at least start it by updating the new releases. Yeah. Posters, new releases, and, and the vent in the back. Yep. There's the vent. Might as well take a look. I've gone through all four. Uh, records that I have to choose. Can't change the <laughs> update. If we don't have new releases, what do we have? Oof. Let's do the 90s. The 90s is not a bad era. <laughs> Boy bands and girl groups. Ooh, few current objectives. There's no one else in your area right now. What's my objectives? Oh, Kylie messaged back. Unicorn hunters. Barking up the wrong tree, I'm afraid. Hey, cutie, excited to get to know you. Sorry, who's we? Me and Brayden. One assumes Brayden is like your pet iguana? Brayden's my boyfriend. We're looking for a third. Did you read our profile? You didn't say you were looking for a third. I should have liked all of them to just see what happened. Maybe I'll like all of them next time. Oh, view objectives are up here. Okay. Check out the vent, put up a poster, complete radio show tests. It's the okay. rollback time. Yeah, I'm all for that. Shit, that's coming from inside the I'm booth. going, I'm going, I'm like going as fast call. as I can. Better go answer. I'm going as fast as I can. Well, that ended perfectly. Why is it all country? <laughs> Hello? You're on KRCT Radio, and you're talking to Steph. Yo, this the record store? No. Close, but no. As I said, this is KRCT Radio, Haven's only radio station. You're looking for Rocky Mountain Record Traders. Haven's only record store. So, I should call them? Well, no. Because you'd need me. <laughs> and I'm in here talking to you. Follow? No. Uh, no? No. Could I just give you my order, and you can just, like, give it to whoever? <sighs> yeah, why not? Sweet. Alright, uh, I got... Goodbye Means Forever by Kim Snyder, Going Our Separate Ways by The Seagulls, 
Don't Let the Door Hit You by Robbie Rooster. Oh boy. What? No, nothing. Just, who are these four? My girlfriend. I saw them in her wish list online and decided to surprise her. Buy local, you know? Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeesh. I don't think this kid realizes that his girlfriend is loading up on breakup music. Ah. Okay. Look. I wonder if your girlfriend might be sending out some signals you're not picking up on? Yeah. You lost me there. Mm -hmm. Alright, dude. Listen. I'm pretty sure your girlfriend's breaking up with you. How the hell would you know that? These songs. Hey, I don't know. Guess I'm psychic. Whatever, lady. Screw this. Yeah, you, all Thanks you did was piss him off. All you did was piss him off. Maybe you should have answered that phone. <sighs> hey, hey, hey. Did you get the package I sent you? Yes. Yes, we did. God. Okay, let's fix the vent. Fix the vent. All those years of high school set design were preparing me for this moment. And yeah, there's some gross stuff up in there. Oh, it just needs some screws. Yeah, but what's what's all the grossness? Oh my God. Yeah. Animals living in the walls. Yeah. Hey, you in there? I'm coming back tomorrow with Febreze and a broom. <laughs> so consider yourself warned. <gasps> I was like, yeah, that looks like an animal's nest, Steph. Um, we're supposed to do posters. Posters, posters, posters. Hmm. One of these might work. Just one? Women of power. Let's do it. That sounds promising. <laughs> there you go. Cool. Oh god. Please be better than the last one. That was a horrible phone call. RCT, Steph here. Hey, are you the psychic? Oh my god. Really? Yeah, that's her. Oh my god. You predicted I was going to dump Danny before I did it, right? So you're psychic. <laughs> Sorry, no. <laughs> it was your music. You were apparently shopping for breakup records. No, I was shopping for acoustic guitar records because I'm learning the guitar. But you knew what I was really feeling, hence psychic. Okay, so my best friend for basically my whole life, Tara, and I both got into CU. But then I got into UC, which is my dream school. I know I'm always supposed to follow my dreams, but I'm so scared of what will happen if I go to school without Tara. She's my rock. That's... Are you sure you want to talk about this with me? Oh my god. Can we just go over this? Are you going to help me or not? Okay. Just give me a second. Damn. How do I tell this girl's future? Maybe she's gay? <laughs> Maybe she's clingy? Oh god. Alright. What am I going to tell this girl? A six is not great. Ah, that's not how you roll. What's my prediction? That's mortal enemies, college dropout. I don't think you're. This is bad. Okay, I think I've got oh god. for you. Oh god! Oh god! Ready? Yes. Okay. The good news is that you and Tara will definitely remain best friends. 
The bad news is that it's her fault you end up dropping out of college. Really? How? Hiking the app cult deprogramming stuff? She's just making this up. She's just using her DM skills to make this up. Without her best friend nearby, Tara's judgment begins to falter. She joins in with a friendly group of agro oh utopian poppy farmers. Oh god. Who are totally a cult. Damn it, Tara. Yep. So you, clearly vying for best friend of the century, quit school and moved to Bumble County, Wyoming to infiltrate the group and set her free. In the end, he regained one safe and grateful best friend. But no diploma. I guess that's the cost of best friendship. All right. That's all I got. Hope it wasn't too brutal. It was rough, but I think it'll help prepare me for the bumpy roads ahead. Thanks, Steph. What? What? Ridiculousness banter? I'm gonna be shaking up the playlist a bit here at KRCT. So get your ears ready for some fresh tunes. And keep it here. This year's spring festival is right around the corner. So, uh, see Eleanor at the flower shop for volunteer opportunities. You're listening to KRCT, Haven's best and only choice for modern rock. All right. What else do we need to do? We haven't done any more. We need to get back in the booth. We didn't do any more ads. We need to do ads. Because the events of Lost Carlisles, we did the poster and we updated new releases. We need to do more ads. Read an ad. Uh, put to work Colorado. Now let's do the ice cream. Here's a new local business to get excited about. Avalanche ice cream in downtown Haven Springs. The variety of flavors they've got is going to blow your freaking mind. Experiments. You think I'm kidding? These guys have. No, no, no! I hope you're sitting down. No! Crab Rangoon flavored ice cream. Just saying. They said don't do that so one. Come on down to Avalanche Ice Cream and get yourself a scoop from our good pals. I thought you would do something different. Sunny and Angela Anderson, the best neighbors a hungry DJ could ask for. I thought you would do some of their different experiments. All right, let's do the last one. Let's hear from one of our sponsors. PutToWorkColorado.com has been putting Coloradans to work since 2002 using their licensed experts. These people are like career Sherpas, helping you scale the mountain of your dreams. But Steph, you say, I'm a unique artisan with a highly specialized skill set. No way they'll have a job for me. To which I say, not with that attitude. <laughs> and just for my listeners, get a free trial membership with promo code KRCT. Gabe. You're, yo, you're doing great. Give me a call toward the end of your shift for the debrief. We're done. Cell phone? Call Gabe. Did you turn the microphone off? Oh my god, oh my god. Am I caller number 12? <laughs> this job you got me? It's great. Turns out it's like four jobs simultaneously, and I'm qualified for maybe three quarters of one. Why did I let you convince me to bullshit my way through that interview? Uh, you know you're on the air, right? Then the moonshine will. Now one more thing just while you're listening. Steph! I'll pour my heart out on this Work it out, work it out. <laughs> Avoid situations like these with put to work Colorado.com. Elevate your job prospects today. 
Good job. Good cover. Rough first day, huh? <laughs> I asked the question. Thanks for watching till the end of the video. Consider giving a like or leaving a comment. The YouTube algorithm favors engagement, so doing one or both of those things really helps the channel. There's social media links in the description and a link to my tip jar if you're interested in helping out that way. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the next one.